these are the top two best cards from every arena. And today we're going to be playing every single one and building our decks only using these cards. And here's how it's going to work. I will pick four different arenas and choose the best two cards from every arena to go into my deck. But to make it even more challenging, once I choose from an arena, I cannot pick cards from that arena again. Now this might not sound too challenging, but lots of the arenas don't even have any spells in there. So this should get pretty spicy. And what better way to start this challenge out here than with Arena 15, Legendary Arena. And I think the best two cards from this arena are going to be the Cannon card plus the Tornado spell. Moving on here to Arena 14, we have the Lumberjack and the Night Witch. I think this is looking pretty solid so far. Now let's choose Arena 10 to complete this deck. Top two cards here are going to be the Golem and the Elite Barbarians. And I think the perfect complement to our already six cards is going to be Frozen Peak. The top two cards are Snowball and Lightning Spell. So this actually looks like a pretty solid 4.8 elixir. Super heavy golem beatdown. Let's try and win. So with a 4.8 average elixir deck, we do not want to go golem too early in the battle. It is super expensive and we want to wait until we hit double champions go. I mean, Lumberjack did uh, block not. Oh, okay. Let's go into these. Ready for this? Boom, big. All the Musketeers are gone. Lumberjack goes through. Come on, Lumberjack. Yes, sir. Why would you go through Musketeers all one lane? Before you knew what I had on my deck, my friend. Yo, okay. I mean, either way, he wastes an Ice Gloom and a Bar Barrel as well out of desperation. I bet you if I go leave Bar Barrel right now, they go into that Rage Spell and they get Raged up and then he's got no response. That's just a Heal Spirit. That's not enough, my friend. What do you got for this? Golden Egg? What do you want? Goes to that tower? Bruh. Come on, Golden Knight destroy. Yes, sir. Now destroy the Golden Knight as well, please. Wait, did I see Golden Knight? I meant to leave Barbarian. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. If he goes to Mr. Tears, all one lane again before we have Lightning Spell, the plan is to nade them all into the Golem Explosion. I believe that is the goal. Gonna go a few Mr. Tears. There they are. There they are, my friends. And then we nade them all into the Golem Explosion. That is the goal. That is the dream. And that is everything in between. Let's go right here. NATO it in. Yes, sir. Come on, buddy. Yes. One of them is dead. And then we can go boom, bing, bop to destroy the rest of us to tears. And they are all gone. Surprise. Now which goes in there. Now the only threat here is the fact that he got a pump down. We did not punish it. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually ignore this golden knight. Save our elixir. Snowball down both of these pumps just for a bit more elixir belly because it slows them down as well. <laughs> And now all we gotta do here is just play pure defense until the timer hits zero. I'm gonna go Night Witch over here, left side of the arena. I wanna go a lightning spell as soon as we possibly can on one of these lanes. The question is, which one? Let's go Lemon Jack right here, my friends. Let's go for it. Ready? Boom, bing, bop. Yes, sir. Come on. Okay, and then we go Ebar's left lane. Oh, he's got piggies. Well, hello there, piggies. Meet the Elite Barbarians in D9. <laughs> no tower damage for you. Now, what do you got for this? Oh, more Musketeers. I see ya. Let's go Cannon Card here, left side. We still have that one cannon right lane defending our tower. Elite Barbarian goes in, and that should be it, my friends. That should be game, and that should be clear victory. I'm going to go a Golem right here to distract. He's going to go Piggies here, left lane. All we gotta do is just snowball back to Musketeers and survive for five seconds. Can we nope. do it? Nail's back right here. Let's go. Nope. <laughs> yes. Let's go, dude. The ultimate deck with all the best cards reign supreme. So it's time to build a new deck here with the best cards in Clash Royale. But this time, we do not have access to Arena 15, 14, Arena 10, or Arena 8. So let's move to Arena 7. And the best two cards here are the Royal Giant and the Three Musketeers. But whoa, 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 whoa. What about the Mega Knight? Well, here are the actual stats of the Mega Knight and the Three Musketeers. And as you can see, the Three Musketeers wins by a landslide. So it looks like we're building a Royal Giant Three Musketeer deck. So let's try and find some complementary cards. Uh, Arena 3 over here, the best cards are going to be the Barbarian Barrel and the Goblin Barrel. Arena 2 best cards are going to be Valkyrie and Baby Dragon. And then Arena 1 is only 3 cards in here, but the top 2 are Goblin Cage and Spear Goblins. What could be better than a 4.3 Elixir, Royal Giant, Three Musketeer, Goblin Barrel, Bait deck? Yo, this guy is super aggressive. Mini P.E.K.K.A. Bats at the bridge. This might be our chance here, my friend. Valkyrie, don't die. Alright, cool. So I want to keep the Three Musketeers as a surprise card. There is no way he's going to expect it in this battle. Let's go Bar Barrel over here right lane for this Electro Wizard. And maybe a quick Goblin Barrel on the counter push. Hopefully no NATO. Sir. Oh, he's got arrows, but the Barbarian gets in there and does absolutely nothing. Let's start slow rolling a real giant here. Right. Oh, 
Yo, we get the perfect counter card for that. Let's go Valkyrie. <laughs> yes, sir. Valkyrie goes down, destroys all of the goblins. And now he... Oh, he's got a ma mighty miner. Oh, never mind. We gotta, we gotta play defense. He's got a mad lad. With oh, dude. Yo. Oh, we're in some trouble here, boys and girls. We're in some trouble. He's got a mighty miner coming in hot with some guards as well. Can the baby defend all that jazz? He goes ability here left side. Goblin cage for the... Drill. Let's go, baby. Dragon here to that tower right lane. Come on, get some damage. Arrows going down right now. Ah, oh, dude. Either way, though, we're not too far back in the damage, and our deck is on the more expensive side. So maybe we can come back and double to period. Yo, boy, break us two shots. Basket destroyed. Oh, we're back in business, baby. All right, cool. So we got 15 more seconds until we hit the Dolce period, and then we can unleash the beast of the three musketeers. Royal Giant, come on. Let's go, my friend. Okay, cool. So he's going to go probably with a Goblin Drill right lane again. And my Goblin Drill, I do mean the that thingy. Are you sure about that? The Mighty Miner. He's got a big drill, okay? <laughs> He basically is holding a giant goblin drill. Imagine goblins came out of him when he died. That'd be kind of crazy. Uh, Shane, now you're talking crazy talk, my friend. Come on, Barbell, go now, please. What does he got for heavy spells? Any heavy spells? No, we break through. Yo, what? It works? Okay. All right. This is the new meta of Clash Royale, dude. Just combine all the best cards, and apparently it works. The Musketeer Royal Giant is the new meta, dudes. All right, cool. So let's go. Musketeer is here again. Then I want to go in RG right lane is the plan, if I can afford it. Or, you know what? Let's go Spear Goblins over here right side. With a Baby Dragon as well, my friends. Come on. Come on, Spears. Get in there. Guards go down, but it's not enough. Musketeer survives. Gets that tower. No, 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 she, no, she doesn't. But the Barbie goes in there. <gasps> Ooh. Either way, I'm feeling good right now. If we destroy this Mighty Miner here, we can get in with a Royal Dragon afterwards to punish on this counter push. He goes a Mirror Goblin Drill. But guess what? We got a Valkyrie going down here. Spears as well. Baby dragon in this business. Come on, Valkyrie. Destroy everything, please, my friend. Yes, sir. The bats are devouring, but his arrows is out of rotation right now. We're going to go Goblin Bill directly on the tower right now. His mirror is out of rotation, too. Come on, Mighty Miner. Get in, please. Come on, Goblin's getting there. Yes, sir. Oh, dude. I want to go RG so bad right now. He's got no heavy spell. So, honestly, if I go Three Must Tears all one lane, this might be a vibe, my friends. This is probably a vibe. Musketeer's gonna devour. Musketeer's gonna destroy. Even when the arrows is not enough. Because now we can go the Royal Giant in front. And this is the counter push to win us the game. Barbell going down. Destroys the mini P.E.K.K.A. RG's alive. Barrel goes in, and that's it. He's got no arrows in hand, and the tower goes down. And we have ourselves a one crown victory with the most abomination of a deck ever. Royal Giant, three Musketeers. With Goblin Barrel? So now for this next deck, we only have access to half of the arenas in Clash Royale. So let's start things out with Arena 13. We have yet to choose from here. And the top two cards in this arena, Pump and the Goblin Drill. Jungle Arena, because we got Goblins in the Goblin Drill. We might as well have a few more Goblins in there. And the top two cards of Jungle Arena are Dark Goblin and Poison. Let's go to Arena 11, Electro Valley, with the top two cards being Electro Wizard and Electro Spirit. And the perfect finale for this deck is be in arena four with the top two cards being minor and the fire spirit 3.3 elixir goblin drill minor cycle with a pump in there this actually sounds pretty decent Destruction. There's no way we defend a Golden Girl Miner here right lane with a Fire Spirit as well. I don't know what we do for this, dude. I literally don't know what our plan is to deal with a Golem and a Bandit. But we will try. We will see. And we will achieve, my friends. Goblin spawns out there. Tanks that Bandit damage. Oh, no. I mean, we got a few Goblins spawning out from that. But, oh, let's go Poison here. This is our only hope, my friends. Poison is literally our only hope here. Let's go East Barrier here, please. Come on. Don't hit my E wizard, please, that witch. Yes, let's go. Let's go, Dark Goblin here, left lane. We defend that golem and maybe get a pump down. Defending golems is always very, very difficult with this deck. Um, as you would assume, because you got no defense. But uh, it's not a meta deck. It's just an abomination of cards. Come on, E wizard. Come on, Dark Oven. Okay, not bad. Yo, that brings us back into the game. He's got a pump there. Well, guess what, my friend? I have a pump too. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, let's go Marder here. Yeah, Marder gets in there. Destroys that pump fairly nicely, I would say. We also splash onto that bandit, which honestly, I think is pretty respectable. Let's go East Bear here, left lane. 
Dark Goblin and a Goblin Drill like this. Should spawn one Goblin out, please. Come on. Yes, let's go. He throws that down. Poison goes down here. If we can keep the uh, push alive and the dream succeeding, we might be okay. Dark Goblin, don't die. Don't die to the Gold Splash, please, my friend Dark Goblin. Yes, sir. Let's go. All right. We're going to go one more pump here on the... I think the... Uh, let's go right side. I don't know if he's got landing spell, but we'll find out here soon. Let's go Minor Drill here with a Dark Goblin as well. This might be nutty, might be crazy, might be something, but I, I, did he leave the battle? We got a man down! Man down! I think he left the battle! This deck is pure, like, it's just pure power! <laughs> After we lost a bunch of battles, but, uh, <laughs> we made this guy, uh, quit Clash Royale, I think. <laughs> he just couldn't handle the heat. All right, let's go in for the three crown. Let's go in for that three crown, my friends. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Yeah, there we go. All right, so three crown victory. Didn't really feel right, but uh, I'll take it, you know? A win is a win. A win is a win. So that leaves us now with only four remaining arenas to choose from. Arena 12, Arena 6, Arena 5, and Training Camp. So Arena 12 over here, the top two cards are going to be definitely the Graveyard and the Royal Ghost. Arena 6, we have the Log Spell and the Mortar. <laughs> Arena 5 is going to be the Zap Spell and the Bats. But what about the Hog Rider, you say? Well, here are the stats of the Hog Rider compared to the Bats and the Zap Spell. And for the final arena of the day, we have the training camp where it all begins. And the top two cards here are going to be the Fireball for sure and the Giant. This might just be our worst deck creation of the day. But you know what? Let's give it a shot. Why, hello there, Piggy. So honestly, Royal Pigs might be a viable... Unless it's Dreamworks of Tears. And you know what? We got three spells. We might be fine. We might be fine. We got Mortar. We have three spells. If it is Dreamworks of Tears, we should be vibing. Oh, but it's like, it's going to be an Archer Queen. Definitely going to be an Archer Queen. Royal Hogs fast cycle with Earthquake potentially. Although, does he have Archer Queen? That's the question. I'm actually going to go Mortar right here, my friends. His cannon is going to be out of rotation soon. His log is out of rotation right now. We're going to go cannon here in a hot minute. There is the Archer Queen. And I actually want to go Graveyard as well. This is a dumb idea, but I'm doing it anyways. He's going to go Earthquake for that, yes. And we're going to go a quick little Fireball for the Archer Queen here. Come on. Come on. Graveyard. More damage done, please. Boom, baby. One more mortar shot is all we need. To oh, the Archer Queen's dead. Yo. The giant's tanking. The skeleton damage. He says good luck. He's so bad. <laughs> that giant gets one shot. Yo, how did that work out so well? You know he's super salty right now, right? Like, that good luck was purely a salty, salty good luck. I'm actually going to ignore the piggies on the right lane here, my friends. We're going to go a quick little Mordor right here. With, I believe, a graveyard is the plan right now, my friends. Where's your... Oh. It lo oh, what? Okay, the ghost goes in there. <laughs> <laughs> two more shots. Yes, tower goes down. We're literally beating Archer Queen Royal Hog Cycle. One of the previous top tier meta decks in the entire game. I'm going to go Fireball this Archer Queen down here. We can get back to another Fireball before he goes Piggy, so we should be fine. And honestly, with our triple spells, we should be vibing to destroy all of his Jazz. He's got no answer for my Bats. The Bats will just devour and destroy the entire Piggies. They go to this end, gets one shot. We go Zap right here. Yes, sir. And then is Yo, he wastes his ability. <laughs> and all we gotta do is just defend for a full minute. We good. 30 seconds, Shane. 30 seconds. Never mind. Earthquake goes down. If we just distract him, hold on. We should be fine. Let's go batch over here, right lane. Come on, Mr. Enemy. What you got for us when it go? Uh, fireball. Come on. And bop. Boom. Dude, she's gone. She's deleted. Yo, the royal ghost. Dude, just destroy. Let's go mortar up in this business. Zap down here. Goes for the piggies. And there's no way he breaks through. This is the ultimate destruction. Mortar log saw. Oh, never mind. He's got mirror. Nope. Yo, the one piggy dodged my fireball. <laughs> Did you see that? I placed the fireball. And the one piggy saw it coming down and was like, nope. And <laughs> got right out of there. Either way, we beat Archer Queen Royal Hog Cycle. What more could you want in life? But that is the end of the video, guys and girls. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. What do you think the best cards are in each arena? Let me know down below. But that's the video. Thank you for watching. We shall see you all in the next one.